Eric Paul's in here with 9 Sports. Going to be getting into the core plays here for the 10-22 game slate in NBA DFS. Um, I know you guys have been joining coverage because, well, 8 out of the 10 core plays have been getting the flame mark on DraftKings. Now, unfortunately, the two center plays that we've been on the last two slates, Al Horford and Sabonis, sucked. But yesterday was a fun slate. Tyrese Halbert went off. Jeremy Grant went off. Lori Marketing went off. And also, Kendall Johnson. Okay, very strong starting points for you guys. And hopefully, we can do that again on this slate. Now, I don't love it as much. I would say this is my least favorite slate thus far, but we'll see. We'll go through the process here. Once again, if you guys enjoy this coverage, make sure to like and subscribe. That does help out the channel. If you guys want to check out the sponsors, Sports Battle App, daily fantasy sports prop based app. Okay, it's a fun, easy prop based app that's out there. Get some free money. Use the promo code 9. TO5. And then also we got Stat Hero, which is just kind of a different contest type. They got survivor pools, head to heads. Um, it's a fun little thing out there. Use the promo code 925, the numbers, when you join. All right, let's get into the picks. All right, getting to the top five core plays on this two game slate. Now, this is a slate in which it's tough because some of the top plays are going to be value based plays. Okay. And it, that's just what it is on a two game slate. So I'll start off with number five, which is going to be one of those kind of value based core plays. And I really like Grayson Allen on both of those slates. On FanDuel, he is a better play because he's a better value play on FanDuel. So you can certainly play him on FanDuel as well. I like him on DraftKings because he is a guard and forward okay you can play my shooting guard or small forward and i think that is going to be huge on the slate the thing that i like about grayson allen is that he should be a nice floor play you look at tyrese maxley a guy that's probably going to be very chalk on the slate because he should have a nice safe floor at his price point well i think that's going to be the same for grayson allen grayson allen with Chris Middleton and Pat Connaughton out saw a 4% bump in usage per 36 minutes and also about 5.7 DK points bump as well. So Grayson Allen at 4.6 is a player that I think will get around 30 minutes. You give him a slight bump in DK points about, let's just say five points. It's going to be 25 DK points. And at this price point, he should be able to 5X, possibly 6X. So Grayson Allen, I like a lot as a play just because he gives you multiple position eligibility and he should be a strong safe play on this slate. From there, I'm going to go back to the well with LeBron James. Now, I don't love him as much as I did uh, in that first game against the Golden State Warriors because, well, the matchup is going to be a little bit more difficult, but he should be able to go off once again. He really dominated uh, in the opening night. It was a huge part in a lot of profitable lineups opening night. Uh, still at 9.3. That's a cheap price point. He's a guy that I think will get to 50 DK points. I, you know, Personally, I just don't see any reason to really fade him. When you're looking at maybe potentially playing Giannis or LeBron, I have been just taking the price discount of LeBron. Okay, sure, Giannis might score 60 DK points, but as price point, he kind of needs to, where LeBron probably going to score 50 DK points, maybe gets to 60, locking him into 45 DK points. LeBron is a safe play, but also has that upside. And then sticking with that, like James Harden at 9K, he really went off in the first game for over 50 DK points. And once again, just looking at like James Harden compared to... um Joel Embiid, like I would much rather just play James Harden at 9K, you know, a thousand dollars cheaper, getting about the same production. Like James Harden, regular season James Harden is a thing. Okay. When he first came to Philly, there was a little bit of chemistry issues that they had. I think those were figured out this offseason. So I think we are going to see James Harden kind of fall back into that big usage role that we typically saw from him throughout his whole career, at least during the regular season. So at 9K, I think we are going to be locking in about 45 to 50 DK points. And on the slate, that's something I will be chasing. So right now, I really think that we're starting off with 50, 20, and like 50 DK points. That's a nice starting point. And then just looking at the point card spot directly, like I do love Drew Holiday on the slate. I do. Like he should be a safe, like 35 to 40 DK point play. But we also have Russell Westbrook there who just went for 40 DK points opening night. And we know who Russell Westbrook is as a player. He is a guy that can usually go out and get a double double. He's going to be getting a lot of stats, rebounds, assists, maybe some steals, uh, some buckets as well. Like he should be a strong play at 7K. He should be a play in which I do see getting to around 40 DK points. The thing with him is at this price point, it doesn't take much for Westbrook to be able to get to value, to be able to get to 40 DK points. So he should be a safe play. He's actually one of the plays that I feel really good about on this slate. But the play I love the most on this slate is going to be Bobby Portis. I personally do not get the price point of Bobby Portis on this slate, especially with Chris Middleton and Pat Connaughton out. That just should solidify that the minutes are going to be there for Bobby Portis, especially with the Sixers potentially being able to go with a bigger lineup as well. 5.4 for Bobby Portis, a guy that averaged 30 DK points on the season, a guy that I see scoring 30 DK points in this game. That just seems way too cheap. Uh, I think we should take advantage of this price point for Bobby Portis. It is a super cheap price point. 5.4 
it's just easy to plug and play him. But that's all I have for you guys for the core plays for this slate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have been taking advantage of the really solid picks that we've been putting out there thus far. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the coverage, make sure to like and subscribe. That helps out the channel a lot. Let's have a good slate. And as always, guys, let's keep cashing.